Hello everyone, it's Shane Kanto, your Wasteland reviewer, and I'm here to review the new horror comedy, Totally Killer, and this is coming to Amazon Prime Video from Nanachka Khan, who is the director of this film, having done work on Always Be My Maybe as the director of that film, and working on, like, doing Ali Wong specials and episodes of Young Rock and Fresh Off the Boat. This particular film focuses on Jamie, played by Kiernan Shipka, who winds up going back in time to try to, inadvertently trying to stop this Sweet 16 killer who returns after 35 years and murders again. And this is personal because it greatly affects Jamie and this horror comedy version of Back to the Future is a fascinating and fun ride from start to finish. First off, this movie is thoroughly entertaining from start to finish. Um, it also subverts some expectation of slasher films because, like, some of the women who are getting attacked and tempted to be murdered actually, you know, fight back in a way and just like, oh, like, they could actually defend themselves, and some of those scenes are fun and interesting in how they're staged. This definitely borrows and homages a lot of things. Like, the this slasher killer is definitely supposed to be very, like, Michael Myers-esque with this very distinct mask that it's wearing in the same day like Happy Death Day is. It's a very distinct mask. It really works. I think... Kiernan Shipka is really at the core of this, such a charismatic lead. She's a lot of fun. She carries the emotion of it. There's a lot of great young performers in this film who bring to life the younger versions of these characters. And you even have some great supporting turns from, like, like Randall Park is the sheriff back before Julie Bowen plays uh, Jamie's mom in the present time, and it definitely pulls a lot from Back to the Future, certainly. It's playing with a lot of those kinds of things, but it's also commentating on some of those sci-fi movie elements, and it subverts expectations, and one of my favorite gags in this is Karen Shipka really not understanding that she's, like, back in the 80s, and this running gag of her trying to say things and people thinking she's crazy, or she doesn't get it, or it just doesn't work that way, or her realizing, like, how strange the 80s were in terms of interactions and how people, like, paid attention to things, or worried about danger. And this film has a lot of fun with that. I think it's solid with its slasher elements and its horror elements. I do think that, like, I th it, in the end, it really felt like it was trying to pull a lot of, like, twists and stuff like that to, you know, shock the audience. And it felt like it's trying to shock the audience in an obvious way. And some of those reveals were decently obvious. But I think a charismatic cast, a fun energy from Khan... And, you know, just a great 80s feel for most of those parts of this film and some intelligent approaches to time travel. I think this is a lot of fun, really enjoyable, and above average little horror comedy that's perfect watching here in October. But those are my thoughts on Totally, uh, totally Killer. Let me know what you think and let's talk some movies. But thank you as always for tuning in and supporting your Wasteland Reviewer.